I'm in the Strategic Operations Centre for Fire and Rescue New South Wales, based at Alexandria. Um, it's from this room where we uh, have the oversight and command of all the Fire and Rescue New South Wales resources. A normal day would see about 500 triple zero calls. A day like today will possibly be about 2,000 triple zero calls. The workload for the staff here is amazing on a day like today. It will be constant for that at least 20 hours out of the day because we're getting a spike in triple zeros. But my role when we have the SOC activated and we also have normal operational communications is to be that link between the SOC and operational communications, making sure that the responses are, are coordinated and that the two areas are working cohesively and, and um, making sure our responses are correct and weight of attack is correct. Also liaising with the RFS, monitoring the calls and just maintaining coverage across our normal business. At the moment you can see we have a huge um, resource pool to the west of, of Sydney. The Reds are uh, resources that are committed at incidents and any one incident I can hover over and it'll tell me where they're at and what they're doing. So the blue ones are, are appliances still in station. We've just had a spike of calls out in that area, particularly on the M4. We had a medium strip fire, pulls a lot of resources, takes a lot of triple zeros, but we know that will be resolved very soon. The dynamic coverage tools telling me that I've now got fire coverage within that Three, three, six, nine minute response time, then we're maintaining coverage across the GSA. All right, mate, I'll let him know. Cheers, boy. Greg, those um, appliances that were going to carry have all just been grabbed for a job, for a second alarm. So, do you want to backfill with the next lot or? I'm in operation cell here today in the SOC. Uh, my job is the, in the ops part of the SOC is to liaise with those areas where there are strike teams such as the Emergency Services Academy at Orchard Hills and dispatch those resources based on operational need. At the Emergency Services Academy we have four strike teams today made up of a combination of strike team pumpers or training pumpers as well as tankers that are staffed with on-shift specialised operational support staff or recalled staff. Uh, we find out about that from the communication centre which is next door and uh, they will make a request into the SOC here requesting a strike team and then I will uh, contact the Emergency Service Academy liaison to have those resources dispatched. Crews are equipped with the best equipment and the best information about the fire activity for their deployment. Our staff here at the Academy have been putting in long hours to make sure those firefighters are well equipped and best prepared to tackle any emergency. Uh, so far today we've uh, had one strike team dispatched to a reported grass fire in the Landilo area and another strike team was dispatched to patrol the Cowpasture Road uh, between Horsley Park and Leppington uh, because of reported number of ignitions along uh, Cow Pasture Road uh, and a request from the police. My primary function is to look after our interstate guests from the Melbourne Metropolitan Fire Brigade as well as our aviation firefighter support teams which we've placed in metropolitan stations while our crews have gone out into the field. We've had five crews from uh, Melbourne Metropolitan Fire Brigade and they've been operating in our urban stations and uh, they'll be leaving tomorrow to go home. I'm here today in the SOC as the media representative. I monitor the BOSS and uh, the Adashi systems to, to see existing fires and new fires as they present themselves and ensure that the media uh, are made aware of those fires so that uh, for community interest points they can send representatives out to those fires and uh, pass that on for uh, public comment. Uh, we also uh, gather some information from crews that are working out in the field so that we can place those stories onto FR360 and as well as Facebook and Twitter to uh, get your story out. In my role here we need to uh, keep the Commissioner informed of what activities have taken place, any major house fires, the, the business as usual incidents going on and so that he can broadcast that information when asked by the media. I've been serving three functions. 
identifying a lot of the technology issues that uh, have been faced by our IMTs and our various functional areas, forecasting what technologies uh, and communication needs are of the organisation as the incident evolves and working with the various fire control centres and functional areas to identify what critical infrastructure will be lost and what the impacts are to find rescue and the community should that occur. We identified that a site called Mount Nardi was at threat and so we worked with the Casino Fire Control Centre to identify what the impact was to telecommunications, government radio, network and aviation and defence uh, services. We helped them prioritise what the fire protection uh, needs are of that site as to whether it should be something that uh, is worth protecting imminently or whether that could take a lower precedence. The other thing that we've been doing with other parts of IT is working to uh, provision uh, the visiting fire services with the mobile data terminals, automatic vehicle location and radio needs that they have while they're working as part of the fire and rescue team. Um, today, Wednesday, uh, is still a day of total fire ban, however fire conditions have eased and we're not at the catastrophic level that we were yesterday. The information that you've got a strike team that you might not be using fully. We had extra strike teams ready and staffed in Sydney yesterday. We deployed them on several occasions and that provided us with a really significant weight of attack to knock those fires down as quickly as possible and stop them from uh, impacting on houses and other property. Overnight we had resources deployed in the field. We had a number of fires in the National Park in the Kirawi area. Uh, strike teams that were formed yesterday were deployed, they've all been stood down. Uh, today we've been uh, working on what the plan is going forward. But we do have strike teams that are continuing in the field uh, in Glen Innes and Warhope. Additionally, we're also receiving requests for strike teams in the casino area, as well as liaison, safety advisors, logistic support, and um, strike team leaders uh, throughout other areas. Uh, for instance, yesterday afternoon, Taree Airport was closed, which closed the transport corridor for the rollover of retained firefighters from Metro North, and we were able to dispatch a bus uh, from the academy to pick those firefighters up and take them to Taree. It is still a total fire ban. As a result of that, we have our major incident management plan activated, and that means that we have brought a number of our inner Sydney fire stations out to the periphery again, providing those extra resources where we anticipate the risk may be greater if any bushfires were to start. We've got a SOC activation built in Adashi CNC, and I use the unit log to record all decisions, which uh, is stored for future after action reviews or analysis as needed. We were able to supply the firefighters with IT support, mobile AVLs, we had fleet mechanics on duty, we had the property staff on duty and I wanted to thank all of Fire and Rescue for all their support in providing us the capability to deploy those crews.